Hello friends, myself Dr. Nandukumar Rawole from College of Engineering Ambazogai is going to deal with fluid mechanics. So in previous class we have seen vapor pressure, cavitation, fluid pressure at a point, Pascal's law, then pressure variation in fluid at a rest. So today we will see certain problems, numericals on Pascal's law and variation of pressure intensity in a static or stagnant fluid. So now, very first we are going to discuss one numerical. So, this numerical is on hydraulic press. So, what he says, the hydraulic press has a, a ram of diameter 30 centimeter and a plunger of 4.2 centimeter diameter and find the weight lifted by hydraulic press when the force applied at the plunger is 500 Newton. So hydraulic ram is like this device like this. So it has got a plunger and ram. So this is kind of device and here there is a piston or which weight W is kept and here there is another piston and over which force is applied. So in this problem, so this part larger cylinder is known as a ram. This is known as a ram and the smaller cylinder is known as a plunger. So this piston is known as a plunger and this piston is known as a ram. So now in between this, the fluid is filled in this. When we apply force over this plunger, so the pressure intensity acts over this fluid and this same pressure intensity is transferred on other side as we have studied in Pascal's law that is pressure intensity in all the directions uh, in a fluid is going to be same. So Px is equal to Py is equal to Pz. So this is the problem based on Pascal's law. So what is given in this problem? So hydraulic press has a, uh, a ram of 30 centimeter diameter. So this is a cylindrical piston and which is known as ram and it has got diameter of 30 centimeter capital D. Diameter is the diameter of ram whereas the diameter of plunger is 4.5 centimeter and the force applied is 500 Newton to this plunger. So on this plunger, the load applied is 500 Newton. So we will collect this data into a tabular form and we will have a plan to solve this problem. So in this uh, problem, we can see the ram diameter is 30 centimeter means it is 0.3 meter. So it is given in this problem that the ram diameter, so this is the diameter of ram is 30 centimeter in meters it is 0.3 meters 30 divided by 100 so plunger diameter is given as 4.5 centimeter and in meters it is 0 0.045 meter and the force applied on plunger is 500 newton so what he is asking us to find out a weight to be kept on this ram so weight is placed on this ram and this weight we have to find out so what is the equation so pressure intensity is same so pressure on ram side is equal to pressure on plunger side pressure on ram side is equal to pressure on plunger side so here we can calculate pressure uh, on the ram side is weight divided by area weight is nothing but force acting in the downward direction force per unit area so let us say capital a is the area of ram and small a is the area of plunger so pressure pr is equal to pressure P P pressure on plunger side so pressure on ram side is given by weight divided by area of ram which is equal to force on plunger divided by area of plunger so this is the equation weight divided by area of uh, ram is equal to force divided by area of a plunger so capital A is the area of a ram which is given by pi by 4 d square and area of plunger is given by pi by 4 d square. So we know 
capital diameter and small d that is diameter of ram and diameter of plunger so first we can find out uh, the area of plunger then area of ram and we know force we know area of ram we know area of plunger then we can find out weight kept over the ram so now to simplify this uh, area a capital a area of plunger Sorry, area of ram is nothing but a is equal to pi by 4 d square so pi by 4 into diameter of this plunger sorry ram is 0.3 meter so it is to be taken in meter so 0.3 square so this if we calculate area is equal to <clears throat> pi divided by 4 divided by 4 to 0 0.3 square this is point zero seven zero six meter square. So capital A area of this is point six eight is the area of a ram. So now area of plunger. is small a which is equal to pi by 4 into small d square pi by 4 into small d diameter is 0 0.045 square so diameter of plunger is 4.5 centimeter or that is 0 0.045 meter so if we simplify this that is pi by 4 into 0 0.045 square this gives us 0 0.00159 and meter square so we know area so now pressure on ram side is equal to pressure on pressure on ram is equal to pressure on plunger the pressure is given by w divided by a w is the weight on ram side which is acting in the downward direction and cross-sectional area is circular so w divided by a which is equal to force which is acting on the plunger force divided by small a so force f is acting so we want to find out w so therefore w is equal to capital a into force divided by small area so capital a is known to us that is 0 0.070 into force which is acting is 500 newton which is given in the problem so force acting is 500 newton <coughs> so 500 divided by small area is 0 0.00159 so this gives us weight in newton so that the weight acting over this uh, ram side is nothing but 2200 sorry 22222 newton or this can be written as 22.22 kilo newton is the weight acting on this uh, ram so this is how we are going to get weight on ram is equal to 22.22 kilo newton so this is how we have seen according to the pascal's law pressure intensity in all the direction is equal that is pressure in x y z or any other direction is going to be same 
so here we are going to say pressure on this ram side is nothing but pressure on plunger side so this pressure is going to be distributed uniformly in this mechanism now coming to the next problem calculate pressure due to the column of 0.3 meter of water and oil of specific gravity 0.8 and mercury of specific gravity 13.6 take density of water as 1000 kg per meter cube so what he says there is a container in which some liquid is filled up to 0.3 meter so in this problem he has given three type of fluids that is in one container there is water then in other container there is oil and in third container there is a mercury hg but the height of these liquids or fluids filled are 0.3 meter 0.3 meter so pressure at the bottom we have to find out so already we have seen pressure intensity due to the static fluid is rho g h so h is given rho we have to know g is constant rho for every liquid is uh, different therefore depending on the rho so pressure acting at the bottom of this tank is going to change so what is given in this we have a b c three types of liquids and we have to find out the pressure intensity at the bottom of these tanks or containers due to different <coughs> liquids now we will see this data we will collect z so z is nothing but the depth of liquid that is 0.3 uh, meter so which is given in this problem this is 0.3 meter then uh, density of water is specified in this problem that is 1000 kg per meter cube density of water then specific gravity of oil is 0.8 and specific gravity of mercury is 13.6 so he is asking us to find out pressure intensity due to water pressure intensity due to oil and pressure intensity due to mercury so generally we have formula p is equal to rho g z or rho g h so z is the depth of that liquid so it can be taken as sometimes z or sometimes h whatsoever you want to uh, use the term you may use z or h so when you are using it for water then you have to take density of water and z for water if you are taking it for oil so density of oil and z depth of oil so if you are taking it for mercury so you have to take it for mercury so density of mercury at that time so here to find out uh, pressure uh, intensity due to the water is given by rho w rho w is density of water g is acceleration due to gravity and z so here z is common to all so we know density of water which is given in the problem g is known to us and z is also given in the problem so when you want to find out uh, pressure intensity because of oil then we must use a density of oil acceleration due to gravity and z is common to all so density of oil is not given instead of density he has given specific gravity so specific gravity as we define specific gravity of any liquid is equal to uh, density of liquid divided by density of water that is density of standard uh, fluid so for liquids water is the standard so density of any liquid is given by density of liquid is given by specific gravity into density of water so here to find out density of oil specific gravity of oil into density of water if we multiply this we will get density of oil so similarly we must know the density of mercury also so to know density of mercury we have to multiply specific gravity of mercury with density of water so if we know <coughs> density of mercury then we can substitute it here and we can find out pressure intensity due to mercury if we know density of oil then we can substitute it here then we can find out pressure intensity of 
due to oil at the base then uh, pressure intensity due to water we can directly find out so we will simplify one by one so pressure intensity due to water is equal to density of water into g into z so density of water is 1000 into 9.81 into z is 0.3 so this gives us pressure intensity due to what you say water so pressure intensity due to water is given by 2943 Newton per meter square and then this is A now to find out B pressure intensity due to oil is density of oil into acceleration due to gravity into Z so to know density of oil density of oil is given by specific gravity of oil into density of water specific gravity of oil which is given in this problem is 0.8 the specific gravity of oil is given as a 0.8 so we can take it as a 0.8 into 1000 so this is nothing but 800 kg per meter cube so substituting this density of oil in the above equation so pressure intensity exerted by this oil is nothing but 800 into 9.81 into z is 0.3 so therefore pressure intensity exerted by oil we can get it as 2354.4 Newton per meter square <coughs> so similarly to find out pressure intensity at the bottom of uh, tank uh, if we are going to have the mercury in this tank up to the depth of 0.3 third case so pressure intensity due to hg is equal to rho of hg density of hg into acceleration due to gravity into z so rho of hg density of mercury is given by specific gravity of mercury into uh, density of water specific gravity of mercury is given as 13.6 in this problem which is given here as 13.6 is the specific gravity of mercury so into density of water this gives us 13600 kg per meter cube is the density of mercury rho of hg so substituting this uh, density of mercury in above equation so we can get pressure intensity due to mercury in the tank that is uh, rho hg into g into z so uh, rho hg is 13600 into 9.81 into z is 0.3 so if we simplify this gives us that is 40025 40025 newton per meter square is the pressure intensity if we are using mercury in this tank so we have one tank in which we are using three different liquids and we are going to find out the pressure exerted by this liquid of height 0.3 meter once we are taking water once we are taking oil and uh, once we are taking mercury so the pressure intensity is going to change here 40025 here 2354 and here 2943 so it is uh, proportional to the h as well as density of the liquid if h is the same then it is directly proportional to the density of liquid if the density of liquid is higher <coughs> the pressure intensity exerted by this liquid at the base is also higher now coming to the next problem uh, here an open tank contains water up to depth of 2 meter so what he says a tank contains 2 meter up to 2 meter of depth of water and then 1 meter of oil and above it an oil of specific gravity 0.9 for a depth of 1 meter so specific gravity of this is given 
is 0.9 so if we know specific gravity we can find out density of oil so density of oil can be obtained so what he wants to find out find the pressure intensity at the interface of two liquids what is the pressure intensity at the interface means at in between two uh, liquids between oil and water <coughs> so at point asa then another is uh, find out the pressure intensity at the bottom of tank so how much pressure is acting at the bottom of the tank that is at point b and at point a so <coughs> we will collect this data so zw depth of water is 2 meter so water is for 2 meter zw is 2 meter whereas uh, depth of oil is 1 meter so zo is 1 meter specific gravity of oil is 0.9 and density of water is 1000 meter uh, kg per meter cube so what we want to find out pressure intensity at the interface of water and oil so at the interface of water and oil we want to know pressure intensity and pressure intensity at the bottom pb is pressure intensity at the bottom so equation to find out pressure intensity at the interface of water and oil so uh, what is above this interface is the oil so rho g z of oil rho g z of oil gives us pressure intensity at this level at the depth of point uh, sorry one meter from the free surface then uh, this can be obtained by using a rho w g z uh, sorry uh, density of oil g into z0 so z0 is the depth of oil so density of oil can be known by density of oil is equal to specific gravity of oil into density of water just we have seen then uh, to find out pressure intensity at the bottom we can find out pressure intensity of oil and pressure intensity of water so pressure intensity of oil already we are going to calculate here so this pressure intensity plus of pressure intensity exerted by water that is a rho w g into z w so this is the pressure exerted by water this is the pressure exerted by oil so all together is the pressure at the bottom so we will simplify this so very first to find out pressure intensity at oil water interface we can find out density of oil into acceleration due to gravity into z of oil so density of oil is equal to specific gravity of oil into uh, density of water so specific gravity of oil is uh, known uh, to us that is given as 0.9 so 0.9 into 1000 this is nothing but 900 kg per meter cube is the density of oil so the pressure intensity at the interface of oil and water p o w is nothing but a rho o into g into z o where z o is the depth of oil so rho density of oil is nothing but 900 kg per meter cube into 9.81 is the acceleration due to gravity into zo depth of oil is only for one meter so you take here one meter so on simplification we get this as we will get it as at the interface 8829 newton per meter square 8829 newton per meter square is the pressure intensity at the interface of oil and water so this is one so to know the pressure intensity at the bottom pressure intensity at the bottom pb can be given as a rho o into g into z o plus of rho w density of water into acceleration due to gravity into depth of water already we know this this term which is 8829 so we need not to calculate it is 8829 plus of rho w is 1000 density of water into g is 9.81 into z w so depth of water is 2 meters so on calculation we get it as 
टू एट फोर फोर नाइन न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर सो द प्रेशर इंटेंसिटी एट ऑयल एंड वाटर इंटरफेस इज एट एट टू नाइन न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर एंड एट द बॉटम पी बी प्रेशर इंटेंसिटी एट द बॉटम इज टू एट फोर फोर नाइन न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर सो दिस क्यूजस द रिक्वायर्ड आंसर सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द प्रेशर डेवलप्ड बिकॉज ऑफ सेल्फ वेट ऑफ वॉटर एट द बॉटम सेल्फ वेट ऑफ वॉटर एंड ऑयल एट द बॉटम एंड प्रेशर इंटेंसिटी एट द इंटरफेस इज नथिंग बट द प्रेशर डेवलप्ड बिकॉज ऑफ सेल्फ वेट ऑफ ऑयल सो दैट गिवज अस द प्रेशर सो दिस इज दिस प्रेशर इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ क्रॉस एक्शनल एरिया नाउ कमिंग टू द फोर्थ न्यूमरिकल so this numerical again combines two more uh, things that is two numericals with it <clears throat> so now again <coughs> it is uh, on the hydraulic jack or ram so the diameter of small piston and large piston of a hydraulic jack are 3 cm and 10 cm respectively a force of 80 newton is applied on the small piston that is plunger small piston means plunger and large piston means a ram so find the load lifted by large piston when piston the pistons are at the same level so both pistons are at the same level and second case is a small piston is 40 cm above the large piston so here uh, if this is the ram this can be called as a ram or hydraulic jack so both pistons are at the same level one case both are at the same level and in second case this piston is 40 cm above small piston is 40 cm above the level of larger piston so force is applied here which is 80 newton and weight is kept here so how much uh, weight it can lift this mechanism in this case uh, if it is used as a hydraulic jack so how much uh, force it uh, how much weight it can lift so that we are going to apply 80 newton of force over this small piston so now we will collect this data so here it is shown uh, say this is the larger piston and this is a smaller piston we call this as a plunger we call this as a ram so it has got small diameter it has got capital diameter and both pistons are at the same level in second case so this is a ram piston ram <coughs> sorry uh, piston of ram and this is piston of plunger so both are not at the same level so piston of ram is at the lower position than the piston of plunger so piston of plunger is above by 40 cm above it so this is the principle here so now in first case pressure on ram side is equal to pressure on plunger sir because these two are at the same level but in the second case pressure on a ram side is equal to pressure on plunger side plus of uh, the pressure exerted by this stagnant liquid because of its height that is a rho g z so rho is the density g is the acceleration due to gravity and z is nothing but 40 cm so we have to convert it in meter so on the right hand side the pressure is acting because of force and self weight of this liquid which is above this level so above this datum level xx or a so this much of uh, liquid which is in the small cylinder is acting in the downward direction so two forces are acting in the downward direction that is the applied force 80 newton and also self weight or the pressure intensity uh, created because of this presence of liquid above this datum line so these two are acting in downward direction on right hand side on left hand side 
<coughs> only self self weight is acting so here uh, pressure intensity on ram side is equal to pressure exerted by plunger plus the self weight of liquid which is going to exert pressure at the uh, level of this piston so first piston now we will see how to collect this data diameter of ram is 10 centimeter which is given in this problem diameter of ram is 10 centimeter and diameter of plunger is 3 centimeter so diameter of plunger is 3 centimeter and that is converted in meter here 10 centimeter is equal to 0.1 meter and 3 centimeter is equal to 0 0.03 meter so force applied on plunger is 80 newton so here force applied is 80 newton and the difference in second case difference in the level of uh, ram piston and plunger piston is 40 centimeter that is 40 centimeter means it is 0.4 meter and density of water which is uh, density of not water the fluid which is present here is 1000 kg per meter cube so in first case how much is the weight to be lifted so this we call as w1 this we call as w2 so how much is the weight in second case so now we can apply the same equation pascal's law that is w1 divided by a is equal to f divided by a because both pistons are at the same level so we can find out area of uh, ram as well as we can find out area of plunger using these two equations similar to the first problem we can find out small a and capital a then uh, in second case <coughs> the pressure intensity on the ram side is equal to pressure intensity on plunger side plus the pressure exerted by self weight of this liquid that is rho g h so we have to use this formula to find out w2 so in first equation and in the second equation what is the difference is this rho g h so rho g h is the additional liquid which is going to exert pressure or force in the downward direction so that is uh, creating a pressure at the datum level aa so now we will simplify this very first we want to find out area of plunger so area of large piston large piston or we call it as a ram that is capital a is equal to pi by 4 e square that is pi by 4 d is 0.1 meter square so this is nothing but point just a minute pi divided by 4 into 0.1 where this is going to be 0 0.007853 meter square then small area area of small piston that is small a is equal to pi by 4 small d square small d is the diameter of small piston pi by 4 small piston diameter which is given this problem is 0 0.03 meter 0 0.03 square if we simplify this into 0 0.03 so this is going to be 0 0.00 0 85 so this gives us area of small piston so now for first uh, when the pistons are at the same level then we can write w1 divided by a is equal to f divided by small a so w1 is equal to capital a into f divided by 
small a so capital a is known that is point zero zero seven eight five three into a force applied is given in this problem that is 80 newton force is 80 newton so we can write here 80 divided by small area is this is point zero 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 seven zero six eight five so on simplification a weight that can be lifted using this <coughs> is eight hundred and 88.96 newton so this is w1 so if the pistons are at the same level so this will be the weight that can be lifted by this hydraulic jack so now in second case what we say is weight w2 divided by area a which is equal to force divided by small area but here this liquid which is above the datum level both pistons are not at the same level so this is going to exert pressure at this level a so the pressure exerted by this liquid present in this piston above the datum level is additional force acting in the downward direction on a right hand side so on right hand side we have to add this that is a rho g z rho g z or h we can call so w2 divided by area which is calculated is capital area is 0 0.00785 0 0.00785 which is equal to force is 80 newton force divided by small area is 0 0.00706 0 0.00706 85 plus of density of liquid is given as 1000 into acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 into z z value is 40 centimeter 40 centimeters it is converted in meter that is 0.4 so on simplification we get w2 weight that can be lifted using this is 900 and 19.7 newton so this much of weight can be lifted when the pistons are not at the same level so here w1 which uh, we have obtained when pistons are at the same level is 888.96 96 newton and w2 is 919.7 newton so this is how we have simplified this problem for a and b bit thank you we stop here and we'll discuss in next class about absolute pressure gauge pressure atmospheric pressure and vacuum pressure thank you